Joining us now is attorney James Cook, who specializes in civil rights legislation. Thanks so much for joining us, James. Um, let's talk about this Texas law. Can it be challenged on constitutional grounds since Roe v. Wade guarantees a woman's right to abortion? Yes, it, it, it certainly was looking for injunctive relief against the law. And so the court's ruling was actually on the injunctive relief. It didn't go to the constitutional issues or to, to the substantive issues. It was all about the injunction. Um, and, you know, it's basically a technicality. It's a procedural technicality. So there's still hope. There's still hope, but I mean, really, for people to tie themselves up in the system or put themselves at risk of being tied up in the system, I mean, that's really what they want, is for people to fear getting involved in that legal process. Exactly. So in what, what you're speaking to are the troubling aspects of the Texas law. And just, just to reiterate, it's, it allows private citizens to sue uh, sue providers, sue people that assist people with getting abortions, that type of thing. And it, it allows them to be awarded up to $10,000. Now, something that most people don't know, there's some nuance there. And the nuance is that, um, you know, $10,000 is jurisdiction in small claims court. In Texas, under Texas um, law, under Chapter 28 of Texas law, small claims has jurisdiction up to $20,000. Right. So basically, it was it's sort of a diabolical plan to put the hands of enforcement in citizens. So all of a sudden you have these, you know, I guess you want to call them George Zimmerman type, you know, a reference to Trayvon Martin. But George Zimmerman types who anoint themselves uh, enforcers um, going after people who want to assert their abortion rights. So basically, when it comes to abortion, citizens have rights, but if you see somebody with a gun, you can't do anything about that, or somebody illegally handling a gun. Is, is that a fair comparison, you, the way that they have the gun laws? It's a fair comparison. It's unfortunate. But again, um, what this shows is, you know, the, again, the, the, yeah, it, it, the, the diabolical strategy that was, that was set forth by the conservatives. And my thing is that the progressives, the Democrats, and the people like me who agree with a woman's right to choose need to be just as strategic, all right? Um, need to do the same types of things and, and, and do the same types of things in return because look at what you have now, all right? You have, you know, the 10th Amendment allows states to, to pass laws, you know, for the citizens' health, safety, and welfare, and, and not all states agree on abortion. That, that's what you have in Texas. So now imagine being, you know, a clinician or a provider and all of a sudden you're hauled into court by, you know, again, one of these, you know, enforcement types. Imagine being a private citizen and all of a sudden you're hauled into small claims court by one of these types. If, if, if you're if you're a company, you actually have to have a lawyer defend you for a ten thousand dollar suit. So the cost of the lawyer is going to be a lot more than what the potential reward reward would be. So we. The yeah, clearly, clearly this is designed to, to put fear in people. But I, I want to ask you about um, the women there. Seventy percent of abortions in Texas last year were provided to women of color. So what kind of obstacles does this law now provide for them? Exactly. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's an infringement on their rights under the Equal Protection Clause, both in terms of race, because it disproportionately affects when black and brown women but also based on gender, you know, and we're, we're talking about intermediate scrutiny. So again, 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause, and it presents economic challenges as well as medical challenges. I mean, you know, we didn't see anything about uh, loophole, you know, exceptions for rape and incest. So yes, of course, it, it disproportionately affects women of color financially and in terms of their health. Is this it? I mean, is this this it when it comes to abortion in this country because we see other states wanting to possibly think about doing this as well is there any way that this can be changed or is this the direction that this country is going in when it comes to abortion this is the direction that the conservative conservative party conservative leaning people abortion anti-abortion advocates wanted to go however again like i said there is hope i mean congress you know definitely People can contact their congresspeople and make them think strategically like they're doing 
and get in line and 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 enact something that 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 counteracts this. Also, you know, you you can act on the local level. I mean, that's really what it's about. Um, call your congressperson. Uh, anything elections, pay attention to your elections and the judges. It's the judges. Pay attention to who your judges are. Um, so yeah, I mean, but th- this battle will go on because the next phase of this is to argue the substantive issues. What state do you think we might see follow this action next? I, I well, I mean, you, you can just go right in line. You get you, Texas, go in Louisiana. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Louisiana does something. You know, once. Of course, you know, they got to deal with present day issues. But Florida, I would imagine Florida. Um, I think you 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 look at the if you track the voting rights laws, the the the, the people implementing the, st- the strategy, then you'll you, you can see exactly which states will will follow these abortion laws. So you got to predict Arizona um, and, uh, you know, most likely I, I would say. Yeah, Florida. I, I, I believe Florida would be next to enact something. All right, James, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. We appreciate you joining us here on BNC. Thank you.